Good morning from Kennedy Space Club. I'm Tim Morgan. I'm the principal investigator for the Magneton Tunnel And I'm Helen O'Brien. I'm the instrument manager for the Magneton This is Saturday. It's the day before launch and we're going to travel to Kennedy Space Center this morning where we're hoping to actually see the rocket rolled out onto the pad for the first time. Hi, we're here at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, you can see the rocket garden behind me. This is uh, where we've got a huge collection of rockets from throughout NASA's history. Today there are a lot of solar orbiter events going on here, including some outreach events. So we're going to go and do an Ask the Scientist event with lots of public uh, this morning. And the rest of the time we're going to be tourists looking around the rest of the site. I've been on a bus tour this morning and got close to the rocket. Got to see it roll down onto the pad for the first time. It's really exciting. About half past seven, and we're due to launch in about three and a half hours' time. It's really exciting, the tension's really building, but we're going to go now and make sure we've got our security tanks, get on the buses, and be taken over to OHB2 to see the launch itself. Okay, it is one and a half hours to launch. I am here at the Banana Creek viewing area. We've got our MDJ. There's a bit of a party atmosphere around. The launch director has just said that we are go for launch. We're at T minus four minutes, so we're going to watch the launch now. It's 23 seconds and counting. You should see a whole bunch of flames over there, okay? So it is now 14 minutes after launch. We were about five miles away here at Banana Creek and it took about 25 seconds for the sound to reach us. So we saw this amazing flash of light uh, and then it took another 20 seconds or so for us to get the real rumble, the kind of real almost physical rumble that we could hear and feel uh, as it started to ascend. And it was going straight up into the sky, right up towards the moon. It was a really beautiful sight uh, and I will remember it forever. It is now Monday evening, we are 20 hours after launch. We are now at the launch party. And the big news just now, Helen, is that... We have switched the magnetometer on and we're getting the first telemetry bag and it's looking good. We hope to get the first, the first hint that we're in science mode. We're really taking magnetometer data very soon. So we're very, very happy and we're going to go away and enjoy the party. Well, it's uh, Tuesday morning, a day and a half after launch, and this is my last morning in Cocoa Beach. I'm flying back this afternoon. Overall, it's been an incredibly successful trip. MAG has worked uh, flawlessly since we turned it on. The spacecraft seems to also be working perfectly. We had a spectacular launch, so it really couldn't have gone better at this point. So we're really geared up to doing the science. I'm going to go back home, get back to the teaching, seeing the students, and uh, getting on with um, uh, solar orbiter science for the years to come. It is now launch plus three days, three days since we launched it on Sunday. Uh, it's been a very nervous but exciting three days. It's a little bit like having a newborn baby. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up. It's the first thing. The last thing I think about before I go to sleep, I've not been sleeping very much. <laughs> Even as I speak now, we are the magnetometer is operating in space as we go through the final boom deploy sequence. It's a great time for us to be on and we're really looking forward to getting into the real science mode. 